Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you how to use LM339, which is a quad competitor IC uh, in a circuit to control two LEDs. So one is going to be controlled based on the brightness in the room. So if it's dark, the, uh, the LED will automatically turn on. And one will be used with an IR sensor. So if you shine like an uh, IR remote, like a TV remote or anything on it, it will blink according to uh, how the signal is sent in IR. So let's get started. So as you can see in the configuration of this IC, uh, this IC has 14 pins in total, seven on each side. So it is a combination of four op amps. So uh, apart from the third pin on both sides, which is a, a positive input and the negative input to the uh, op amp itself, uh, there's three pins for each op amp. So like for the first one, as you can see, uh, the bottom pin is the positive input and the second bottom pin is the negative input and the top left is the output for the first op amp. So this is basically a, a combination of four op amps. So they're all independent of each other. So we'll be using two op amps because we're using two different sensors. So with an op amp basically at the negative input we'll be giving a constant voltage and at the uh, positive input we'll be give, giving the voltage from the LDR or from the IR sensor. So that will be fluctuating. So if the uh, light in the room is dark that means the resistance will be high, so the voltage input will be high, and that will cause the output voltage to be high. So uh, we'll be using this in our circuit, and now let's go on and see how the circuit uh, is made. All right, so I've uh, placed the op in the circuit on a breadboard. So I basically put them, uh, so that one pin is on one side, like the seven pins are on one side, so they don't intersect uh, the ones on the other side, and the seven are on the other side. So as you can see, this is a circuit diagram. Uh, so basically, we, we have the positive input and the negative input of the op amp, which basically uh, we've I've grounded all the wires on this side, so the red is for the uh, five volts, and I'll be supplying the five volts with an Arduino, but it can be any power supply or anything. And the voltage uh, input to the op amp itself should be around with five volts, so I'm supplying around five volts uh, as well. Uh, then I have uh, these two resistors over here, so these are 470 kilo ohm resistors. So I've written them in series and. I'm getting the uh, voltage across one of them, so basically half the voltage, so it's gonna be 2.5 volts, and that's being supplied to the negative input for both op amps. So I, as I saw, uh, showed you before, uh, on the op amp, there's two, like the second one here, and the fourth one, so for both op amps that we're using, this voltage being supplied there, and the other, other one, uh, one of them is connected to the LDR, so the LDR is connected over here, and the voltage across that, basically is connected to the positive terminal, so the voltage across the LDR uh, is being supplied to the positive input of op amp number one. And for op amp number two, I have this uh, IR sensor. So the voltage across, so that's connected to the, to the negative, the resistor is connected to the positive. So the voltage across this is being used to uh, supply it to the op amp. And then there's two LEDs connected here. So for the LEDs, uh, they are, uh, their positive uh, terminal is connected to the a resistor to the 5 volts and the ground is connected to the op amp. So if the voltage that is uh, being like supplied from the LDR is less than 2.5 volts, that means the LEDs will turn on because the uh, output over here will be approximately uh, zero. So then that will act as a ground. So I think two LEDs like that. And then there's a capacitor here, which was recommended in, in the uh, circuit sheet, the data sheet of this uh, op amp. And so that's connected over here, uh, one pin to the negative and one pin to the positive across like the number three pin where the five volts is supplied. So now let's see how this actually works. Uh, and I, I'll be using uh, my hand to cover the LDR so we can see the effect of dark light and how the LED turns on. And I'll be using a remote, an IR remote uh, to test the IR sensor. So now I've connected the op amp to uh, power via an Arduino. So it's using five volts on the positive and is grounded uh, on the negative terminal. So let's test uh, how it works. So first let's test the LDR. So the green LED is for the LDR. So when it's dark, the green LED should turn on. So right now, as you can see, the room is bright. So both LEDs are off. So I'm gonna put my hand over the green LDR. As, as you can see, the green LED turns on. If I remove it, it turns off like that. So now let's test the IR receiver. So I'm gonna use a remote, so this is a remote for a projector. So this has an IR transmitter over here. So I'm gonna be sending it now. And as you can see, the LED flashes. So if you've ever uh, tried putting this in front of your phone, you can see the same type of flashing pattern uh, on, on your phone's camera because you can actually see the IR uh, range, uh, range. So again, if I do it while I'm pressing it, uh, the LED is blinking according to the pattern that you've probably, uh, already seen on your phone. 
yeah, so it works like that. And you can also add uh, two more like sensors because it's a, a four uh, quad op amp. So I've only connected two, but you can add uh, two more in the same way. Uh, attach like any output device, like an LED or a motor or something, uh, and uh, control it via the signal which it receives at the positive input of the op amp. So that's all for today. I hope you learned something new in this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.